Hello boys and girls, Thomas here and today, as you can see, we are in a creative world and in this creative world, we're going to be doing something a bit different. Today guys marks the first ever redstone tutorial video on my channel and the first one, I thought it would be fitting as it's one of my favourites, I thought we'd build a chicken cooker. Now these are pr it's probably one of the first things I make in a world, just because it supplies you with an infinite food source, so let's get right into it. So guys, the first thing I want to do is to make a little compartment here. So like, just maybe a little, little glass compartment needs to be at least uh, one and a half blocks high. Obviously you can use slabs at the top instead. So long as chickens can't get out. And then after this, you want a hopper going into a block. Go around the side, replace that block with a dispenser. And then this is where the fun begins. So you want to build up too high like this. And what you want to do is you want to place a hopper there with a slab on top like so and then around this slab you want to surround it it should be glass just with a one block high layer of glass and then put this hopper into a block so this is basically just the framework of it and now we need to the redstone so the way i like to do the redstone in this guys is to do it so it senses when there's stuff in the dispenser as otherwise it's just really loud all the time so what you want to do is you want to run a comparator out of your dispenser like so, run it down, run it into a block like that, into a piece of redstone, into a repeater. And then it should, when you put stuff in the dispenser, sense that and that repeater will turn on. And then what I like to do is run the repeat into a block, to take some redstone out the back. This can obviously be compacted a bit, but as long as you have a bit of redstone it shouldn't be that hard. And then obviously you need access to this block underneath the dispenser and do not power the dispenser as it will lock up this hopper and it will just stop the entire system. So you need to power the block below the dispenser. Uh, you can just run some redstone into it like this. And then, But then now you need to make your actual redstone clock. So by default, when there's no power, you want it to be off. So you sort of just run that around, get a redstone torch like so run the redstone into that redstone torch and then you should make the little clock up here. Now the clock that I'm going to be using is just one of the simplest ones ever. It's just a, two blocks with a repeater run into it, a redstone torch, run this round, boom. And then when, when it senses that there's something in the dispenser, uh, it will just turn on. So now, uh, if we were to, let's say, throw in some redstone, It fires out the redstone, and it's obviously all collected. Now there is one step I forgot to mention, guys. You do need to build this up one more, and place in your lava up here, which will actually kill the chickens when they've grown up. So now you basically just need some chickens in the top bit, like so, like this. The more chickens you have, the more efficient the machine is. Chickens will lay an egg, but I can't bother to wait that long, so I'll just get an egg, get a few stacks of eggs, chuck them in the machine. And then we should get some baby chickens. Look, there we go. We already had one baby chicken. And when it grows up, it'll be hit by that lava and it should die. And all the cooked chicken will end up in this chest. So that was just my simple tutorial, guys, on how to build a chicken cooker. Cooker, hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!